my name is Krista. Today we are going to be sailing my Hunter 31 foot sailboat all the way to Catalina Island. It's about 32 nautical miles away. It's gonna be about a seven, eight hour sail there. I'm so excited, let's go. Puppy life vests on. Okay, pups are ready to go. I'm gonna take the electrical out, start her up, and then we have to stop at the fuel dock, then we're gonna be on our way. She starts right up, we're good. This is how I solo get my boat out. It works especially well on very calm days like this, so that's good. We're good. I'm gonna take the cover off of the boom and the main sail. Well, it's raining, I was definitely not expecting it to be raining, but it's just a light drizzle, it should be fine. I can't believe it's raining. So funny. I'm gonna fold this up nicely and put it away because we're gonna be out for a few days. So I'm not just gonna roll it up and toss it down below like I normally do. We are turning into where the fuel dock is. There's a little puppy up there, he's so cute. So I never got a chance to put the netting on this side, so we are one netting side. We are only netted on one side. They're chasing us! Full throttle! Once I turn, I'm gonna let the dinghy out and we are going to put up the mainsail. We're good. Well, I am going to go put the front dock lines away, take off the sail ties, put up the mainsail, and then hopefully we have enough wind that we can kill the engine. Beautiful day for this. So we had a little bit of rain earlier, but now it's beautiful. I'm just glad that it's not too hot. I gotta put the halyard on. Okay, we're perfectly into the wind now. Come on. Well, we're caught on something. I think that might be it for me. The arm workout begins. We're almost there, about one more foot. Okay. And it's up, we're good. The express right here is gonna get there in about two hours. We're gonna get there in about eight. We're actually getting some decent wind. I'm gonna put the jib up. So for all you technical sailors out there, we are on a close hauled point of sail right now. All of the sails are as tight as they can be. So something really cool that I got for this trip specifically is a rocker stopper. I have to tie it and set it up though, so I'm gonna do that on the way. Okay, so I have all this extra line on board that I can make my rocker stopper out of. I'm gonna get the cones for it out of here, and then I need to look up 
how far apart I set them. So I have a kettlebell for on the bottom of it. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but this is the only thing I had access to for this trip. These are the rocker stoppers. I got an eight pound kettlebell because it said anywhere from like five to 10 would be good for up to like 36 foot boat and we're a 30 foot 10 inch boat. And I think I'm gonna do five of them. It says it's best to do four and four on each side so I do have three more in here but I don't have a way to get them out on the other side. I only have a boom that I can do them from so I think we're only gonna have them on one side. So it says to tie them about 18 inches apart gonna look something like that. <laughs> Five of them. Okay, so it's looped around the kettlebell. So on here it says tie them 16 inches apart. Look, when we're at anchor, this is gonna make it so that we don't like rock this much. Double sheet bend knot. The instructions right here. So I just finished building my rocker stopper. So I have this line, it's super long, that I'm gonna tie to the boom. It's attached to all these. There's five of them with a kettlebell tied to the bottom. We'll see if they actually help with the rocking when we're on anchor. I think we're gonna be anchored tomorrow night. Tonight we're gonna go just to Avalon and stay on a mooring, so we won't need to use these tonight. As soon as we go either anchor at White's or Cat Harbor, we will definitely put these out and see how well they work. We are actually getting to sail to Catalina. A lot of the times we have to motor sail because the wind is coming directly at us. So this is really awesome. We're making pretty good progress. We're going about five knots right now. It's gonna take us about six hours to get there is what my Navionics says. And I can see the wind is picking up. So we're hopefully gonna pick up to about six, maybe even seven knots on the way. If I have my hand line right here, I'm gonna put it out and hopefully we catch a fish on the way. That would be awesome. So I put my pinky right here, and then my finger right here, and then it just spins out. It works. What if we catch a tuna? That would be crazy. Once it starts getting towards the end. All right, now I'll clean it off. Yeah, I guess I'm just hoping that a fish never instantly bites it, or uh, might break a finger. So you can see my sails are catching really good wind. We're going about five knots right now, which is amazing. We have about 25 nautical miles left to go. When we get to the shipping lanes, we have to be extra alert to make sure that no cargo ships are coming. I haven't seen any off the horizon so far yet today. The first place we're gonna go when we get there is uh, the main city in Catalina, which is called Avalon. Avalon has a ton of moorings. It's definitely the tourist spot. I'll show you guys the city and everything once we get there. So we've been averaging about four knots. Right now we're switching between 4.8 and five. So we picked up a whole nother knot and the wind is supposed to get even stronger. Okay, I'm pretty sure I see a balloon over here. We are for sure gonna get this one on board. I'm excited. Okay, so this is either a buoy of some sort or multiple balloons because it looks a lot bigger than a normal balloon. I think it might be multiple balloons, but we'll have to see when we get closer. Okay, it looks like a number balloon. So like maybe like a six or something. It's a big number balloon from someone's birthday. All right, it's a big, maybe it's a letter. All right, it's kind of hard to tell with the wind, but this is a C balloon. Stop releasing your balloons. I'm gonna go ahead and poke a hole in the bottom of this to let all the water out, and then I'm gonna tie it up to the back here. That way we can keep it and get rid of it properly. It's a C for Captain Krista. So stop releasing your balloons, but whoever released this one, I kinda like it. <laughs> yeah, this is by far the biggest balloon I've ever found out here. Chicken and quinoa for lunch. 
We really just lost our wind. Our sails are starting to luff. We are going 1.5 knots, and if we stick on that course, our ETA would be 1 a.m. So we're gonna turn on the engine. Unfortunately, we're just kind of being a bobber out here right now. If the wind picks up again, we're definitely gonna sail instead of motor sail. So the jib is completely working against us right now. It's catching wind from the opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in and we're just gonna mainsail with the motor on to get to Catalina. All right, we're good. We are motor sailing. We are almost to Catalina. I'd say we're probably about halfway. We have not seen any dolphins. We haven't seen any sharks. We haven't seen any sunfish. We haven't seen any seals. A little bummed with the lack of sea life today, but that's okay. There's a big oil tanker over off of our port. It says that it's going about nine knots and it's about seven and a half nautical miles from us. We are definitely gonna have to go behind it because we are coming up on the shipping lane. So it has the right of way and also it's giant. So we don't wanna go in front of it. According to my AIS, the oil tanker is called the California Voyager. It's now seven nautical miles away from us. So it's going pretty fast. So we have a cargo ship that is going to be crossing in the shipping lane. And we just passed a purple balloon. So we're just gonna loop back and get the balloon because we would have to turn sideways and wait for the cargo ship to go by anyway. So we're gonna go get the balloon. All right, I'm gonna have to joust this one. We're gonna stab it, try to pop it. No! Take two, we're turning back around because we have to dodge the cargo ship anyway. No! I wasn't close enough. Take three, we get one more shot. Come on. I don't think we can get this one. Should we do one more? Okay, here we go. We got it! Okay, so this, this is a purple star balloon from the Dollar Tree. Do not release your balloons. They end up in the ocean. That actually worked out really well. We did three loops to get the purple balloon on board, which gave us a good amount of time to let this cargo ship pass by. So it's pretty close to us. We're gonna cut behind it and then head back to our destination. Let me show you guys real quick on my phone the loops that we did in order to get that. Let's see. There, do you see the three loops? That's what we did to go get the purple balloon. <laughs> worth it though, definitely worth it. There's not many uh, better ways to spend your day than out on the water like this, especially when you get to sail most of the way. So, pretty cool. So the cargo ship is about four nautical miles away from us right now, as you can see it. Our course is now for the back of the ship, and as it keeps going, we'll keep adjusting. The reason we have to go around the back side of the oil tanker is, or cargo ships if they were a cargo ship, is because they are so big and they are going so fast that they for sure have right of way. It's kind of like trains in a car. I am the car, they are the train. They have the right of way when they're moving. They're giant and they're going about 10.2 nautical miles an hour. That's pretty fast. For reference, we're only going four. So they're going more than double our speed and they are probably 20 times our size. So according to my AIS, they are 186 meters, which comes out to be 558 feet. So I was pretty close with my guess of about 20 times our length because we are a 30 foot boat. Uh, yeah, which would be 600 feet, but I was pretty close. That boat is 558 feet, wow. size of the cargo ship in reference to the entire island of Catalina. Probably about a tenth of it. There's some dolphins jumping over there. They're pretty far away right now, but at least we have something. <laughs> We 
We are only about an hour away from finding the uh, Harbor Patrol so we can get a mooring. It says 4.5 nautical miles until we're there. It's gonna be pretty quick. The wind is pretty calm right now. We would definitely not be able to use our main and jib to get in right now, or if we did, it would take probably five more hours. We're almost there. It's 4.30. We left Dana Point around 9 a.m. It's definitely taken a while to get here. came out again. It's not windy anymore. We are going to be pulling into Avalon very shortly. We're gonna get a mooring. One of the best days ever to sail over here and actually sail, so that was cool. The sail is completely luffing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it. All right, so we're gonna drop the sail, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure this doesn't get it tangled. Here we go, dropping. Okay. It was a beautiful day for it. Nice. We actually got to sail. We didn't have to motor sail the oh, whole way. Perfect. So that was nice. Awesome. We did eventually have to motor sail though. Yeah, you guys made it. <laughs> yeah. It took about nine hours. Wow. So, yeah. That was a long day. We averaged four knots when we were sailing. So, Ooh. but it was worth it. Uh, go down the main fairway, turn behind 37, and you're on 39 right there by the guy. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Bye. day, you guys. putting a mooring on the boat. How it works is there's two giant weights on the bottom of the ocean floor. There's two lines attached to them and a buoy attached to the lines. You pull the buoy with the stick, put it on the boat, the line around the cleat, grab the second line, walk it all the way back to the rear cleat, get it on there and then you're secured. It is beautiful, I can't believe we made it. It's so calm and nice here. Also, um, there is not a lot of people here. This is probably one of the least amount of people I've ever seen here. So now that we're here, the very first thing we need to do is take the pups ashore because they gotta go. We made it on land. Hello, Catalina. There she is. You can rent boats, kayaks, motorboats, sea dues, and this is also where the shore boat takes you if you don't have a dinghy to get to and from your boat. We are back to the boat. I'm gonna set up the grill and cook up tri-tip and we're also going to have heart of palm potatoes. Tri-tip going on the grill. Tri-tip. 
YouTube. So excited. Look how good it looks. Look at my torches. I love my torches. They're solar, which is super cool. Dinner, night one in Catalina, and then I will see you guys in the morning. I'm so excited.